Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to see the practical overview of the hardware that we are going to use throughout this course. Let's get started. The hardware component that we are going to use throughout this course is this Nucleo F446RE development board which has STM32F446RE microcontroller mounted on it. And this particular development board has several features and some of them are it has one user LED which can be configured as output device and it is connected to PA5 and it has one user push button and it is configured in pull down logic and it is connected to PC13 of the microcontroller for demonstrating digital input signal and it has one reset button which is useful for resetting the microcontroller and it has a virtual con support for downloading the program onto the microcontroller and also for uh, debugging the microcontroller using this feature. So this section of the development board is meant for programming and debugging the microcontroller and this particular section right over here is meant for uh, demonstrating the microcontroller. And you can see this is the 32.768 kilohertz crystal oscillator which will be utilized by the internal RTC of the microcontroller and here we have a place for mounting 8 megahertz crystal which can act as a external system clock for the microcontroller but since it is not available we will be utilizing the internal 16 megahertz crystal available inside the microcontroller itself and this one is a 3.3 volt regulator which will be regulating 5 volt signal from this USB cable and it will be powering up this microcontroller with 3.3 volt signal. And this particular jumper right over here is useful for toggling the power state. That is if you take the jumper is connected in this manner how it is available now, the microcontroller will be powered from the USB port. And if you take this jumper and put it right over here to this particular pin like this then the power for this microcontroller will be provided from this 5 volt if you are providing right over here. So you can power up the microcontroller from both the means with the help of this jumper right over here. If you provide the jumper like this uh, like what I have drawn it will be powered up from this uh, external 5 volt signal that you are providing right over here and if we are providing the jumper like this then it will be powered up from the USB port of the uh, nuclear development board that's it and additionally these connectors right over here on the left and right of the development board you can see these two connectors right over here are meant for demonstrating the controller pins all the pin terminals of this microcontroller that is the digital communication edc channels are provided in these two connectors on the left and right of the development board and we will be utilizing these two particular connectors for interfacing any devices to this microcontroller as the pin terminals of the microcontrollers are available in these two terminals on the left and right of the development board so we will be utilizing these connectors when we are interfacing some devices to the microcontroller such as 7 segment LCD displays etc to this microcontroller. And that's all about the hardware overview of the development board that we are going to use. This is the development board that is the Nucleo F446RE is the development board that we are going to use throughout this course for learning the bare metal programming from scratch and we will develop all the peripheral drivers from scratch with the help of silicon vendor provider cmsys file that is the st microelectronics provider cmsys file for this particular microcontroller in this course see you in the next video thanks for watching